up, Wolf Packers? It's your mama's favorite YouTube channel. I'm your boy, Big Baby Wolf, and I'm doing a comparison video for the Kingpin Wave Six Armed Spider Man, as well as the Molten Man Doppelganger. So, before we open these guys up, it's the exact same body mold. Except Doppelganger has a different head sculpt, hand sculpt, and feet sculpt, and he even has a build figure. Six Arm Spider Man does not have any of that. But as you can see, it's the exact same mold, except there's different body parts. He's colored darker than Six Arm Spider Man over here. So. Let's get these guys opened, shall we? Right now, we're gonna open up Sixth Arm Spider Man right now. So, Doppelganger, if you could please move out of the way. We have the official Wolfpack safety knife with spring loaded blade for safety. But before we open him up, here's the logo. Sorry, guys, it's dusty. We've been waiting for months for this figure to come out and to find it. That's how long we've been waiting for. So, here's a spider logo. Side R. This other side. Back side, sorry for the glare. Pause if you wanna read it. Here's the rest of the wave. We've already completed this whole wave, so we gotta get reviews on these figures. Then Kingpin. Then here's the figure art in all of its glory. Alright, so now let's open them up. Piece of plastic. And figure. Really cool background box, too. Sorry about the glare. When you're trying to get him out of his package, you gotta be careful for his arms. He's got three of them on each side. Um, yeah. So, careful of him. And then also, he doesn't have ab crunch. I mean... It's obvious you're not going to get it, but what would you rather have? Six arms or an ab crunch? Most people would say ab crunch, but I'd say six arms. Think of all the possible things you could do with six arms. Six arms, people! For Spider-Man's articulation, his arm is blocked by his other two arms on each side. So, he can go back that far because of his two other arms but to go all the way forward that much he can go out that much he gets bicep swivel he doesn't get the butterfly joint because he's got the other two arms behind him so that's a minus because you know every spider-man has butterfly joints on arms so yeah but anyway he's got bicep swivel Double jointed elbows, swivel up the wrist, up and down. It's really loose on this figure, I'm not gonna lie. There's like no down whatsoever. That's as far up as he can go. No ab crunch or swivel at all. His legs can kick out to the side that much. It can kick out, kick back this much, and kick forward this much. Yet, thigh rotation, double jointed knees, rotation at the calf, a ball joint on the hip, and that's basically all he gets for this figure 
it's a really original design like every spider-man suit that ever is made but the pegs one side it's red the other side it's blue on red come on guys fix that fix it but otherwise it's okay it could have used a little bit lighter joints on my figure I'm not gonna lie about that but anyways it's a great figure minus all the stuff it doesn't have now let's open up doppelganger before we open him up let's take a look at his logos there's a spider logo this one's a little bit dusty too we've been waiting to there's his side art which is looking pretty cool he's got razor sharp teeth and claws as well as webbing too as although he doesn't come with webbing here there's the other side I forgot to show the UPC for all those freaky boys and girls for a six-armed Spider-Man. There's a UPC. There's picture art. Here's the story in many languages. Pause if you want to read it. Here's the rest of the wave. We've completed this wave, so now we got to do reviews on them. And then do him. Gotta do them. But yep, let's get into them. The sheet of plastic for all 2019 figures. It's a pretty cool background. It's the same as Spider Woman. So it looks pretty cool at least. Here's a build figure piece. It looks like it would be a new mold. I'm not too sure. Pretty sure it is though. Here's the arm. It's got swivel at the wrist. There's no movement other than that swivel. There is that thing right there that looks like it would but it's really oh nope never mind uh oh he's the skywalker he's got a single jointed elbow and bicep swivel so that's what this arm of molten man has anyways guys if your wrist and stuff on your figures are really tight do not try and move it at all just try and budget for a little if it's still not moving just leave it alone you saw what happened to molten man's arm careful with his six arms Got him out. It's pretty basic. It almost looks, not almost, it pretty much looks exactly like the Andrew Garfield Spider Man's. You know, the Amazing Spider Man 1 and 2. That's what the suit looks like. Although, that does not look like him. Does he have razor sharp claws? Or a teeth that looks like it's about to eat you. Or a pterodactyl feet. But anyways, it looks like a cool figure, so let's get into it. Exclusive for Doppelganger, you can change out his hands for any arm you want because he's in the spider costume. Unlike Spider-Man over here, he's got arms with nothing on him. So you can't switch out his hands for anything else. Unlike Doppelganger, I switched out his two fisted hands for clawing hands. So it's pretty cool that you can do that when he is in the suit. So 
Yeah, it would look like he could do that. But for his articulation, he's got side to side, full 360 on the head. And go pretty much all the way up. All the way down, pretty much. His arms, the same. It's pretty much the same as Spider-Man over here. Can't go all the way up. He's... There is a position where you can get full 360 on the arm. It's this position right here. You can get full 360. It's not where you have his arm sticking up all the way like that. But you get full 360. So yeah. So you get the swivel. You get bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. Swivel at the wrist. Up and down. Same on all six arms, so, yeah. No ab crunch, same as Spider-Man. No, no waist swivel. You can kick out that far. He's got pterodactyl toes. He can kick back that far. He literally can't kick back. This is him kicking back. That's all he can go back. He's not meant for kicking backwards. He's got double jointed knees. Rotation at the calf. He's got a ball joint on the foot. And yeah, that's pretty much all he has. Same as Spider-Man. It's pretty basic, except he's missing a lot of key things that a figure needs. A.K.A. Ab crunch, waist swivel, and for Spider-Man exclusively, butterfly joints. These are both great figures, except they're missing some parts. But, would you rather have six arms, or the parts that you need? I'd say six arms, personally, because... How many things could you do with two arms? But now, you get six. You can have pretty much any pose you want. Just like I showed you for Doppelganger over here. Yeah. Deuces.